Chicago, the city of peace, renowned throughout the seven seas as the crime-free capital of the deep. And keeping a fisheye on the Galleon Museum is the night watchman, McWhort. Watchman's log half past midnight. Everything's quiet around here. As per usual, time to take a break. Uh, what was that noise? That came from the deck. The Galleon's moving. It's floating right out of Chicago. Help! I'm stuck on a runaway galleon. Help! <laughs> My partner George and I were in the Maritime Security Penitentiary at Albatross, as visitors, of course, for the lockup of Harry Flicks. Sharky and George, my crime-busting friends, you've done it again. You've caught the notorious Harry Flicks as he tried to sneak out of the Grand Bank with a pile of purloined plankton. He was convicted of finned robbery, and he was given 10 to 20 with possible time off for card behavior. Among the finmates already here are those nautical no-good mix, the three thugs, Scotia, Nova, and Lops. <laughs> and now, dear Sharky, would you do us the honor of locking up rotten half Harry Flicks? Fin this way, Harry. Here it is, your own private fishbowl. Touching, isn't it? <gasps> it's the galleon. <laughs> I don't like the look of it. Uh oh, looks like a breakout. Sharky! <laughs> well, well, if it isn't Sharky, welcome aboard my galleon. <gasps> Dr. Joe, yes, it is I, the evil genius of the briny deep. <laughs> and today, I am planning to attack Chicago and to destroy it. Oh, dear. How will I do it, you ask? I'll use the four criminals that I have captured. Scotia, I took for his nastiness. I took Nova for his sheer brute force. I selected Harry Flick because he's devious and cunning. And I took Rock because he's such a sap. He'll do anything. <laughs> yes, indeed, Sharky. I'll use the worst qualities of each crook to make a single super criminal. Don't you stand there, Sharky. Come and see my new creation. Now, he doesn't look very dangerous yet, but when I pump him up with the evil thoughts of my four captives, he'll be the meanest beast in the seven seas. Huh? Well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh, that's McWhort. Yes, innocent, harmless McWhort. But he won't be harmless much longer. Once I'm through with him, he'll be the biggest, most dangerous criminal in the ocean. Ready to do? <laughs> my bidding. Let me explain the system to you. These pipes are connected to my electronic cycle pump, which extracts the evil brain waves from the... <laughs> from there, the brain waves are piped into this ultra-gyroscopic criminal pinwheel. It permits me to select from among my four captives and calibrate the evil brain waves that are continuously being pumped into my quartz. Finishly clever, don't you think? And now, let us begin. <laughs> round and round she goes and stops some Scotia. My quartz, hit him! <laughs> You see, Sharky, your friend, the innocent McWhort, is now a hardened criminal ready to destroy Chicago at my command. I'll put a stop to this. No, you won't. Have you found the galleon yet, George? No, Mr. Mayor, it's disappeared. And I have no idea who's got it. 
Whoever it is, he's holding Sharky, and what's worse, he's spun four of Chicago's most dangerous crooks from Albatross. Now, now, I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> At last the time has come to turn my walk loose on Chicago! <laughs>
is over. Come back here, you coward! I'll be back! Sharky! Hey, Sharky! Good work! Why, thank you, George. in our south. You know what I always say, boy? There's no place like home. No balls! Ooh.